So I like they hand me my microphone and my manager says, you can do this, go. And I just like, just yelled like, yeah, what's up, sir? you know, what's up, sir, West Coast? And my voice came through and I sang terribly, but I was so amped up that I just basically turned it into like a, you know, like a, like a rock show, you know, mm-hmm. like I was just everywhere. I was climbing rails out over the crowd and all this stuff. And they were, and it was like, you know, it was 15,000 people. It was amazing. Awesome. Well, the next morning I woke up in Monterey after this show, opened the door to our, um, our hotel and there's a Monterey newspaper there and I pick it up and it's a picture of me standing on this rail wearing a shirt that says, I love my wife. Well played, you know? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. And I didn't think anything of it. I was like, Oh, that's cool. Well, fast forward three or four months and my buddy calls me, Jason, you got the new sports illustrated yet? I'm like, no, I don't go get it now. Why? Just go get it. Look at the center page. So I run to the Barnes and Noble, I open up sports illustrated and it's all the pitchers who have their favorite song. And it's like, it's you too. It's Aerosmith. It's seven dust. It's all these amazing bands. Metallica, only, right? Yeah. There's only one picture though. One artist fo- photo. And the artist photo is me walking <laughs> on a rail in Monterey wearing, I love my wife t-shirt. My dream, I made it in a Sports Illustrated and my wife stood beside me and got to see, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, God, wow, God, wow. 